You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. We are in Holy Week, so it is Holy Tuesday of Holy Week, and today is a feast of one of my favorite saints, St. Bernadette, who we know lived in Lourdes and had Our Lady of Lourdes appear to her where there is now a miraculous spring where thousands upon thousands of people journey every year to bathe in the healing waters and miracles occur every day. So, Remember, say a little prayer for the intercession of St. Bernadette and Our Lady of Lourdes today. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about Holy Week. We talked yesterday about Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday. Today, we are going to look further into the week to the events that will occur at the Holy Thursday service, which will happen on Thursday. So this service, this liturgy is beautiful and packed with so much. We can never talk about it all in one day. So we are going to talk about the first remarkable piece today, and that is the washing of feet. So as you might remember, Holy Thursday service is very different from normal masses. There is so much more that happens, and we are going to talk about the first cool thing, which is washing of feet. Now, you might know that we wash feet during the Holy Thursday service because this is what Jesus did at the Last Supper. What happened is, is that Jesus had gathered his followers together to celebrate the very important Jewish feast of the Passover. But before they sat down to eat, Jesus wrapped a cloth around his waist and he got a basin of water and he went from person to person and washed their feet. Now, this symbolizes a lot, but before we get to the symbolism, let's talk about what the feet of people were like during the time of Jesus. So when Jesus was alive, most people, whether they were very rich or very poor, wore sandals. So no matter what type of shoe they had on, their feet were usually always dirty. Now, not only were their streets unpaved, meaning they were always walking on dirt, but they also used their streets as a sewer. So you can imagine there weren't, wasn't indoor plumbing. They didn't, you know, pick up their animal waste and put it somewhere else. But the streets were very, very dirty and stinky. So even if you left the house in the morning perfectly clean, once you walked to wherever you were going, your feet were filthy. At the time, the Jews had lots of different cleansing rituals that were part of their faith. They might not have known much about germs, but because of these rituals, they did like to keep pretty clean. So one of the first things that you did when you entered someone's house was wash your feet. And this makes perfect sense, doesn't it? You wouldn't want people tracking all of that dirt and other disgusting stuff into your house. If you were rich enough to have servants, you would have the lowest servant wash the feet of the people that arrived. And you can imagine that this is pretty disgusting, humiliating work to do. And yet, who does this at the Last Supper? Jesus does. He gets down on the floor and he washes the filthy feet of his disciples. And even Peter protests. He says, Lord, you will not wash my feet. And of course, Jesus says that he needs to do this, that this is a great example that he is setting for the disciples. In fact, after he has done, Jesus says these words. He says, I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. The washing of the feet takes place in the Holy Thursday service immediately after the homily. And if you have seen this happen before, the priest 
who is the leader of our parish church, is the one that gets down on his hands and knees and washes the feet of people from the parish. So we are doing what Jesus said. We are doing as he did. And the lesson we should continue to marvel at is that Jesus, God himself, not only came to earth, not only taught us and died for us, but he took on the lowest, most humiliating, dirtiest work out of love. This is a beautiful example of what it means to love. It is also a tremendous reminder of how radically different Christianity is from other religions. The king or the God would never do the most humiliating work in other religions. And yet God shows us what true love is, that he is willing to do anything, no matter how low or how humiliating, so that we might know how loved we are. Now, my challenge for you, friends, is to simply make plans to go to Holy Thursday service and to take note of the washing of the feet. So make sure that you go talk to your adult, make a plan, find the time that it is at your parish and get excited about it. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. And finally, a quick note to the grown-ups. First of all, thank you for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. I ask that you please consider sharing this podcast with another Catholic family you know. Send them an email, a text, or simply mention it the next time you see them. Please join me in the mission of helping each Catholic child truly sprout into the wonderful human that God created them to be.